Hey everyone, hopefully by now you have a solid understanding of series and parallel circuits. This week we're going to focus on an activity, and this activity is called Mystery Circuits. Originally I've had this activity designed and I've built these light fixtures to work in person, in class, and to be very engaging. However, given the circumstances of the pandemic, that can't happen. So what I've done is I've adapted this activity to work online via YouTube and Google Classroom. So this is a vanity light fixture, and they're normally found in the bathroom. What I've done is I've flipped off the back panel to expose the wiring. And these light fixtures, they're wired in parallel. And the reason for that is if this light bulb or any of them go out or burn out, the other three are gonna remain on. And that's because they're still providing three paths for current to flow. And what you're going to have to do is figure out how this is wired because I did not leave these in parallel. I have designed several other circuits and then I've wired them up accordingly. And you have to figure out how they are wired and draw the schematic diagram as well as qualitatively explain how you know your schematic diagram is correct. And to do this, what I'm going to do is for each of these light fixtures that I created, I'm going to create a video and this video is going to simply be me unscrewing light bulbs and screwing them back in while this fixture is on. And what you're going to have to do is observe what happens to the other light bulbs if I unscrew one. So for example, let's say if I unscrew this light bulb and then this light bulb goes out. What does that tell you about the wiring? Well, if this one goes out, that means these two must have been on the same path, the same path of current. So if I unscrew this one, this one goes out, that means these two would have to be in series because this cut the path of current to that light bulb. Well, how would you know if something's in parallel? Let's say if I unscrewed this light bulb and then this one got brighter. If this one got brighter, that means the current that was going through this light bulb had to go somewhere and it went to the other path, which was this one. That's how you would know these two are in parallel. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the first mystery circuit. So what I want you to do is draw upon your knowledge of how current behaves in series circuits versus parallel circuits. So starting over here, we're just gonna label these light bulbs. So the one on your left, this is gonna be light bulb number one, light bulb number two, three, and light bulb number four. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unscrew light bulbs and disconnect them. And what I want you to do is observe how the other light bulbs, uh, get, if they get brighter, they get dimmer, if they stay the same, if one goes out when I disconnect another one, things like that. But I'm gonna walk you through this. So let's start off with light bulb number one. Okay, this is the brightest light bulb. Light bulb one is the brightest. So we can assume that it's getting the most current out of all of these other light bulbs. So let's see what happens when I unscrew it. Okay, all of the light bulbs go out. So we can assume it's getting the most amount of current, but it could definitely be at the beginning of the circuit, the first light bulb. And that light bulb will be in series with the rest of it because if we unscrew this one, they all go out. That means we just disconnected the entire circuit. We, we cut the power to the circuit, all of it goes out. So if this is the first light bulb, let's see what happens to these other uh, one, or two, three, and four. Notice that these two light bulbs, they're about the same brightness. I think they are the same brightness. This one is very close to it, but it is actually brighter. So let's see what happens when I unscrew light bulb two. Okay, light bulb three went out. Okay, well, light bulb three went out. That's an indication that these could definitely be in series. Well, if I unscrew light bulb three, light bulb two should also go out, and it does. Okay, so light bulb two and three, light bulbs two and three are in series. Okay, so what I think is going on here is that all the current is going through light bulb number one, and then it splits off into two other paths. One of the paths 
as our light bulbs two and three, which are in series. But the other path must be light bulb number four. So let's see what happens when I unscrew light bulb number four. Okay, light bulbs two and three, it just got brighter, whereas light bulb number one got dimmer. Okay, so if this is the first light bulb and then the first path, the current could go through these two light bulbs in series, but it could also go through light bulb number four. By unscrewing this, they are all now the same brightness. So I just eliminated one other path. So all of the current is going through light bulb one and then two and then three. So with light bulb number four off, we have one circuit with three light bulbs in series. And that makes sense. So let's see what that looks like on paper. We said that light bulb number one had the most current. It's because it is the brightest. And when we disconnected light bulb number one, light bulbs two, three, and four all went out. That leads us to believe that light bulb number one is getting all the current and it splits off after it gets through light bulb number one. So this light bulb number one could be at the beginning or at the end of the circuit. There could be several different schematic diagrams that will resemble the same circuit. They might just look differently, but they act the same. So light bulb number one, we're gonna pretend that it is first in the circuit, right here. And after the current leaves light bulb number one, it gets to split off on two different paths. And the first path goes into light bulbs two and three, and we said those were in series. And we figured out those were in series because when we disconnected light bulb number two, light bulb three went out. And then when we disconnected light bulb three, light bulb two went out. So these are, uh, those two light bulbs are on path one. And when we disconnected two or three, light bulb four did not go out. It actually got brighter. And that leads us to believe that the current that was going through two and three then went through light bulb number four. So light bulb number four supplied a second path for the current to go through after it leaves light bulb number one. So we discovered that light bulb number four is in parallel with light bulbs two and three. So let's draw this on the schematic diagram. So we need to draw two paths. Here's path one, and then here's path two. Okay. I'm gonna draw light bulb number two. After the current leaves light bulb number two, it goes into light bulb number three. On path two, we just have light bulb number four. The current leaves light bulb number four. Then the current from both paths, paths join back up and then go back into the power source. And this is one example of how the schematic diagram could look. Light bulb number one could possibly be down here and it would work the same. So that technically would also be correct. So what I want you to do is do exactly what we did just here for the next two mystery circuits. And there's the assignment has you uh, draw a schematic diagram just like this. But most importantly, I want you to justify your reasoning on why you think your schematic diagram is correct. So you can just Draw your schematic diagram on paper and then insert into the uh, Google document assignment and make sure to justify. Feel free to pause the video at any time 
or rewatch certain parts because the next two mystery circuits, I am not saying a word. I am simply unscrewing light bulbs and screwing them back in. So pause the video, rewatch if you need to, and then ask me questions, shoot me emails if you get stuck at all.